Okay, I'll just do a quick uh, dismantling on the PlayStation controller version 2, which is the have the LED LED here. And once you take out all the four screw using the screwdriver, just take out slowly here. I already pre um pre open a little bit. So gently just slowly because there's a ribbon cable here and need to press here uh, the blue one and take it out okay then you can release the casing from the main main board so here and there's a one um, okay first over op take out the battery some of them they use the double sided tip so I take out the battery first unplug it this one they use a small connector for the version 2 uh, version 1 the old one will be a bigger a bit not so much bigger a bit so and once you take out the battery unscrew this uh, screw unscrew it so total screw is 5 once you take out and unscrew then this this Thing, everything can come can let go but uh, before that um, there's a one ribbon cable here is very impossible using a fingernail you must have uh, this thing this kind of tool you can buy it in Daiso or whatever Mr. DIY is it's, uh, it's banded uh, no prior so you need to grip using this one the blue one and take out from the original connector once you take out like this be careful and gently then uh, because this thing you need to take out everything up so the, this thing must go in like this like that and you need to move the controller slowly don't stuck the ribbon cable because the ribbon cable can stuck between this on top and bottom then take out slowly like this then everything come out okay so the ribbon cable is for the touchpad and this is the board including the membrane so um, just curious what is look like the membrane on this uh, version 2 most people sometimes the some of the my original controller also left stick is uh, not working suddenly and then I found the trace here suddenly is missing around here so the contact between this and this is missing so need to replace this film conductive film membrane uh, it's very cheap and uh, you can buy this uh, this one a third party it doesn't need to be original also so fine okay before that I need to explain a little bit on the this one this one if you accidentally move it okay is is like this uh, don't forget to this thing can come out there's a there's a plastic between edge to edge so just now I almost quite some time to figure out how do I put it back so to put it back this must be from the top like this slide in slide in and then place like this so there's no other way it just must be like this slide in and go place like this okay and okay this is the membrane let's take a look it's most problematic is the membrane sometimes and the original controller there's a dead zone and there's no dead zone this one got the dead zone so that's why the I don't think this can be fixed there's no way you can you can adjust this to make it center to fix it except the contact inside the the material of the this is not so good maybe okay to remove the membrane um, need to remove the um,
Okay, let me see. Huh? Okay, the next thing is to remove the R1 and R2 and this one here you need to okay I already opened once here so you need to have a force a bit to take out this I snap it back <laughs> okay I need to take it out back so this one will need a bit force So it only hold using the uh, spring here, and same thing with this. It's quite hard actually if you don't have a. Uh, good grip so once you take out that one and the next is um, this R1 and R2 just now R1, R2 and R1 AR, R2 and L1 uh, R2 sorry I get confused if I doing something and talking um, Okay, this one. Give me a second. Okay, for the R1 and L1, it's very easy. Just pull like this. Okay, so you just go in like that. And next is this one. Just pull. So after that, okay, there's a rubber here. Let's take out the rubber first. The rubber is that through here. Take out slowly. Okay. You just make it mark left and right okay once you take out that one you need to remove this one also uh, I think the membrane you can just oh no yep you need to take out everything basically so this one here for the battery holder uh, need to remove this battery holder the plastic pull it up and here also push and pull it up so once you take out the left sometimes on the right is locked again okay so the battery is just just here and this one here So you just lock here and here then once you take out then you can take out see the mother the board so this is the board and the membrane is just like this so it just contact the from here you contact with here so sometimes maybe you have a problem this one the thing is not contact properly so that's why I need to take it uh, take it out and see maybe press firmly you can work again so maybe the trace is not it's not broken actually so take it out just slowly because this once you take out like this this thing can take out everything so now the left is uh, the membrane conductive firm so to take it out 
um, this one need to first of all first of all there's a some kind of clip um, just uh, to hold the, the, the thing so they cut everything like that they like this and So this one need to pull like that using the small screwdriver or what? It's the same thing with this pull. And this is some just a just a they just hook it system, hook system. Slowly take it out. This one also slowly take it out. So the left is this one. Um, okay, so you need to wiggle, I think. Because here the head is bigger than. So you need to push like this, pull like that. Ah. Okay. So this is the conductor film. Um, this word here is four five four B four uh, four B four five B. Okay, so I'm not sure whether I can. I don't know what's the wording is this this is W A N I think W A N eleven So now I okay. Now I put it back. So the foam is bigger, and Okay, just pull like that. Should be okay, I think. Then once it's ready, pull up, and this one need to latch it. Put it into to here. Then okay, I need to put it in this. Okay. 
second one so once you pull this one need to need to lock this one sorry for the camera the same okay then hold here oops Okay, this one doesn't lock. Okay, never mind. So I continue with the button. So the button we need to turn again. So putting back the membrane is not so difficult, I would say. And this is the board including the rumble, rumble. And I think we need to place like this. Then uh, should be like this. This should be here. And this is should be here. Okay, make it firm on the, the rumble first. Then turn over, place the pot properly because the membrane will have the conductive form is a bit hard to do during this process because it's always run away from the position so I need to hold it behind like this push downwards to make it tighten then this one place slowly to go to the hole here okay okay snap that's okay then I'm gonna check just like that okay everything go inside the hole so I got a hole here with the hole and she got the hole with the thing okay then uh, the next will be put it back the R1 and R2. This is R, so be here. Okay, 
the you quite is quite amazed that uh, the speaker is only like this. Just now I see that. Uh, okay, let's open again. I want to show. I haven't talked about the speaker just now. When you when you open this pull from here, lever it, then that's all. You can OBO. The board can can let go from the position. So like this, lever it, and that's all. So you can see here. This is the three contact for the speaker and the speaker is magnetic and my this is this is magnet I um, haven't tried a game with the speaker see whether the controller can speak out or not so it's just contact with this and then this this wind will vibrate and make a, a sound it's very very high tech I see I mean how they make the speaker for the phone I think same thing okay I must do this again okay never mind you can just first fast, uh, fast forward the video if this too boring for you but if you want to see the overall process please don't skip is better okay okay so the lock is here one just saw this one I didn't see it so this one lock here and the other one is here so when you push you want to pull the board I just now I use this method right I think it's a bit wrong you need to un unlatch this one push up push up and this one also push up and then you, you can let go of the board okay the membrane conductor film is uh, is already on place so I put it back the R1 R2 this is R1 just slide in done One slide in, done. This is R2. Sorry. Then the compartment. This is just snap. Okay, that's all. Then uh, put the screw back. This one, the screw is a bit different. It's a uh, sharp on the end. Meanwhile, the other four is is not sharp. You can see that one is a flat-headed. This one 
shop so okay so i forgot need to put in on the the body first okay this is the most challenging uh, when you put this thing uh, the ribbon need to align with the whole back okay so what you need to do is just make it straight this ribbon make it straight just careful okay once it's make it straight I don't know whether I can get the perfect angle or not make it straight is not easy I know the most difficult is this one because the ribbon you need to make adjustment uh, make it straight so like this at least so the moment you put it in this one So you come up from here, it's easy now. Then you need to use the prior to to mount this. You think you need to have this expanded nose prior. So you go in, fine, then um, need to align this body the, the board to the hole. Yeah, the stick need to slowly align the with the hole. Then this one also same thing need to find the place to Okay, this one is not aligned. <laughs> okay, the the make alignment on this is kind of tedious. Sorry for the camera, I just, just now I focus on this. Okay, at the bottom line, you need to make alignment with the joystick. Uh, I think what you need to do is um, find the right spot like this. Ah, okay. So, okay, the, the trick is uh, you turn this thing 
because uh, okay this is match match turn this thing make it align with this then that's all okay then final is the screw here Okay, the screw is not going to the hole properly. Okay. Okay, this is the lock and the battery. Connector battery. is the ribbon this ribbon this one can use a hand to do but you must place like this the blue the harder one then slowly align first of all we need to align this thing the transparent thing to So how this mental and this uh, mental and assemble back the PlayStation controller version two, including the membrane, the the level of the toughness to open this is uh, quite hard. If you in the hurry like me, if you have a lot of time. So only doing this is it can be done definitely okay okay Yep. That's about it. Thank you.